Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh dan selamat sejahtera semua. I'm going to show you in this video um, the steps that you need to do or to take if you want to record your PowerPoint and voiceover. So this is actually Panopto. This is actually a new video tools, video platform and video tools which uh, USM subscribe to support our course developers for the online course or for micro-credential MOOC and so on. So we can use Panopto to record a screen just like uh, using a screencast or Matic or any other screen capture application. Um, we can use Panopto to record our PowerPoint and voiceover. We can also use Panopto to record anything on the screen. So we do a screen, we can use Panopto to do a screen recording. So once you sign in, so I'm already already in my account. You can see here, this is my name, and this is my dashboard. Um, so this is actually on home page. You will see there are many tutorials which you can uh, go through here to learn how to uh, use that Panopto, uh, use the features in Panopto. So you can go through the tutorial, and there's also a tutorial how to record a video. Uh, so the, the the tutorial I'm going to share uh, with you is actually basic, uh, specifically how to record a PowerPoint on a Mac computer. But if you are using PC, I think it's about the same way. But you can, you can also watch the video here, how to record it on PC. You can also find there are a few tutorials also available on um, YouTube. If you go to my folder here, so where all your recorded video will be but currently, I don't have anything yet. So once I have the whole created, you will see in this folder. So let's go uh, and create one um, rec one uh, video. I want to record my PowerPoint using Panopto. So basically, if you go to create, you can see these are uh, the different options. You can see here, you can also do a live streaming using uh, uh, Panopto. And there are a few other things as well we can uh, explore later or you can explore the tutorials available in Panopto. So now if I want to capture my, I want to record my PowerPoint plus uh, voiceover. So I just record, um, click record new session here. Then uh, it will say open Panopto. There's a step before that, uh, before the first thing actually you have to install the uh, it's one-time installation. You have to install the Panopto recorder. So I've done that. So I just click open Panopto. Then you get this window. Okay. So, oh, all right. Okay. So I'm using um, uh, my webcam. Okay. Um, currently, the... the the webcam, the video come from my webcam, my built-in webcam in my computer, but I have also another webcam, Logitech external webcam, which I attach to my USB on my computer. So if I click here, I have this selection here. So I want to use this webcam instead of my built-in uh, webcam. So I just click this one. So you can see here, it's uh, slightly uh, different. It's actually my Logitech C920. You can buy actually from Shopee now around about 300 something, 320 ringgit, I think. And uh, currently I'm using built-in microphone. I don't have an external microphone like Boya or, you know, but I'm just using for this tutorial in microphone. Then I can see here the the audio level must be green you cannot get until if you get yellow or red then it's too strong so you have to adjust the audio level so it looks good then okay you can see here this is a primary source basically this is your primary video source so this is where actually you can uh, choose your uh, webcam or external webcam then here you have option record powerpoint in case i'm using mac there is also 
So uh, option for record keynote, which is similar to PowerPoint, but it's only for Mac. But I want to record PowerPoint, so I click uh, record PowerPoint. That's all you have to do. Uh, on this side, actually, if uh, you can actually add secondary source, the secondary source can be, uh, you can click build in display. This one, if you want to capture or record your whole computer screen, you can also do that. You can click this one if you want to capture your this. So this is my whole desktop uh, on my computer. So you can also capture the whole screen instead of just a PowerPoint. You can do that. But in this case, I click none because I just want to capture my PowerPoint. If you have, if you have a second monitor, some people use uh, you know uh, two monitors. They can also choose a uh, secondary two here. Uh, for the second monitor. But for now, very simple. Make sure record PowerPoint is is uh, picked. Then you go to your PowerPoint before you start recording. So the start recording is here. So this is my PowerPoint. And uh, this, um, I would suggest that you set up your PowerPoint. If you go to slideshow, then you go to set up slideshow. So on PC, it's slightly different but the menu will be you know you have to go through the same menu so by default if you don't change anything usually when we run the powerpoint on full screen it, this is this is the default presented by speaker full screen but um, i prefer to run my powerpoint in full screen but within an individual window so what it does is when you click this one and click ok I can actually adjust the screen. I don't have to make it full screen so that I can switch between my PowerPoint to my pen up tool easily. So I just set out about this size. Then now I can run full screen, run full screen. But the full screen is not filling up the whole or the entire computer screen, but it will fill up to whatever size of window that you adjust. That's the meaning of um uh, run powerpoint in full screen in uh, individual view so once your powerpoint is ready what you need to do now next is to okay you can choose which folder you want your power recording to be saved i just put my my folder the default folder on my panopto account which is here then you can also uh, you know, uh, by default, we'll say, okay, Saturday, February, and the time, but you can also put less set, like session one, session two, whatever. If you want to do a live streaming, you can click webcast here. Okay, we skip that one first. So it is now ready. So I can just click record. When I click record, the thing will start immediately. I just go back to PowerPoint, and it will catch actually this discount. So I can start presenting. Hi, hello, this is um, Abdul Karim here. I want to talk about micro credential here. So you can go to the next screen and it will capture. You will record everything, including animation, your voice, so the voice over. So just go through the slide one by one. So, okay. Then after you have done, you have finished. You just switch to this and click stop or if you want to pause and also pause so that you can continue later or in this case i want to stop. so when i stop we'll say recording complete then we'll ask you to, to upload your recording will be upload uploaded to your account in your folder here in my folder here uh on the web on on the pen up to server so we click upload then if you preview here, uh, you don't see your. Recording will start immediately, so I just go back. You don't see your PowerPoint here. It will, it will just show you the preview of the primary window, which is the webcam. Okay, so don't don't be uh, don't get confused here. So let's uh, see here the status. It is uh, uploading now. It's processing. Okay, it's processing. Uh, it's still processing. So. Uh, when it's done, uh, when it's done processing, I just hide.
When it's done processing, you can see here, view online. So you can view online and that's where you can see your webcam plus your PowerPoint, okay? So currently it's still processing. You can see here processing. Once it's done processing, only you can see here the link view online is uh, active. So let's see, okay, let's wait until it's done uh, processing. Okay, it's completed. You can see here view online is now active. So I can click view online and you should be now be able to see. Yeah. Yeah, so you can see here. So you can play. Recording will start immediately. So I just go back to my PowerPoint. No, 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 slow one, the internet. But basically, uh, you can see your webcam here. You can see your PowerPoint here. And the rest of the slide here, the student can actually jump from one slide to another slide. Then here you can, you can do further editing so that you can give a title for each your slide here. Uh, this one is actually covered by tutorials uh, available on Panel, but Maybe I will also make another tutorial how to navigate this window and how to edit one so that you can edit title. And there are a few more, few other things that can be done uh, here. For example, the student can uh, click here so that you can get a bigger slide here. And also switch so that the video will go here and this PowerPoint will go there. And, and a few other things we can do here. We can also run the, oh, really slow here and I'm doing the internet somehow. So basically I just want to show you that's how simple it is to record a PowerPoint with voice voiceover uh, using Panopto. And I think this looks good. You can produce content uh, very, very fast using Panopto. And uh, of course you can also have other new format as well. But I think this will be a great help. Uh, yeah. So I can start. So you can also down a uh, computer if you like. And, and, but usually what we can do, we can link the whole thing here uh, yeah, or embed the whole thing here in our um, module. So that's all for now. I hope uh, you have any questions. Just uh, don't hesitate to ask me.